former Haydad star Sarah Monaghan is back in the headlines with worrying new claims about abuse in the television industry. Her original claims led to actor Robert Hughes being convicted of 10 child sex offences earlier this year. Now she has more. She joins us live from Orlando, Florida. Sarah, a big welcome to you. First of all, can I ask how hard it has been to get your life back on track after such a traumatic period? Um, I guess it's a lot easier for me because I live in the States um, and so I could kind of come home and just leave it all behind. Um, but then again, on some days, I kind of, it's hard to explain to people here in the US what I've been through. So sometimes it's also difficult because I don't really have the support network that I might have in Australia. Sarah, um, you uh, blew the whistle on Robert Hughes and you sparked that investigation against him. What was it that made you decide, I have to speak out? Um, actually, it was, I'd seen, well, there was Corey Haim and Corey Feldman um, had come out and on their show and they talked about what had happened to them. And then there was like a whole spate of former child stars that just, you know, committed suicide or died of drugs or something. And then I was teaching acting classes over here and one of the girls had had an incident and her mother said, you know, is this what happens in the industry? And the person who had done it uh, said to her, that's just the industry and that's the way it is and if you don't like it, you can leave. And the mum said, well, I'm going to take my daughter out. And the person said, well, that's okay because your daughter's too fat to be a model anyway. Oh. And I just... It was like, it was the most horrific thing I'd ever heard, but it also triggered all those emotions because back in the day when I finally got Robert to stop touching me, he called me fat all the time. And oh. so it was like, it just, it brought everything to the surface. And um, I went, that woman actually worked in the same building as I did, and I was livid. And um, thankfully she wasn't at work the day that I was very mad. Um, but uh, I had been asked to talk about my story in Australia before that, uh, that had happened. And I kept putting it off and putting it off, thinking I don't want to bring it up again. But then when that happened, I knew that that was it. Um, you know, I knew I'd probably never, ever work again, but uh, something had to be done. And so I told the story. And we didn't name Robert at first because I didn't want it to be about me and about him. I wanted it to be about what happens in the industry because it happens everywhere and it happens all the time. Do you think that's um, right? It's not just I mean, do you Australia, think that's right, Sarah? Do you think, do you think that, I mean, you're, you're saying that Hughes is not the only child sex offender in the entertainment industry, that there are others. Is that, is that what you're saying there? I think that it would be naive to think that Robert is the only one. I mean, if you look at the, how many kids are abused, like one in five people are abused before they turn 18. And to think that Robert would be the only person in the industry, and I know he's not, because when I came out, there was hundreds of people that contacted me and said, I know you're telling the truth because it happened to me. And it, didn't, it wasn't just Robert, it was other people. And they didn't name names specifically, but they said, I worked in the industry and it was another person in the industry and so there are more and you always hear rumours I mean all of us have heard rumours of things that have happened um, and you know names go around and unfortunately I can't name them um, because it's not up to me that I mean the person that was molested has to come forward are we talking um, big names here they have Sarah? to be ready are we talking big names here? Um, I think it runs the gamut from people who work in a studio behind the scenes to, yes, very big names. And do you think it's still happening today, Sarah? I think so. Um, hopefully we scared the crap out of them um, by sending Robert to jail and people who are doing stuff might take a step back and think about whether they also want to have their reputation tarnished and end up in prison. Um, but I, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at all if it's still happening. Um, I, Sarah, hi, Shura here. I, I, I worked in kids' television for many years as well before for now, so I know what it's like to be around children, and they're just so vulnerable, and so, you know, it's just so shocking to hear that this stuff still happens. Mm. But what, what do you think could be put in place to make sure it doesn't happen, you know, going forward? Well, I think they've done a lot of stuff since I was in the industry. Like now, I mean, back in the day, I was supposed to have a chaperone, and I didn't because nobody really wanted to pay for a chaperone because, let's face it, kind of, people are kind of cheap, and Australia doesn't have the money that the U.S. has um, to spend on all of that stuff. But, I mean, the big thing is making sure that kids are not put in adult situations. Um, and, I mean, you see it all the time. So people think because you're a child and you're working in an adult industry, people forget that you are a child. They want you to act like an adult and, you know, 
be working like an adult. And sometimes, like, I mean, I used to hear the most vulgar things all the time. And I mean, I have the worst potty mouth on earth. And I make sailors at work blush because that's just the way I speak, because I grew up around a bunch of 40, 50 year old men. Um, and so people forget their kids. And so, you know, like even a 14 year old girl in the industry who is not legal yet, but people treat them like they're, you know, 19, 20. I mean, I mean, even remember Mary Kate and Ashley, before they turned 18, there was the ticker when people were waiting for them to become legal, which is gross. Um, so people need to step back and remember that kids are kids and people need to watch out for kids, you know, whether you're the chaperone or not. You know, if other people are on the studio even think that there's something that might be going on with that kid, ask. You know, it's so easy, and it, and a kid might not say yes. Like you know, people asked me straight up back in the day, and you know, I was terrified. Um, but um, there's actually a really good book out right now that somebody just released. Um, it's uh, a secret safe to tell, and if you go through that with your kids, maybe they'll say yes. This is happening to me. And of um, course, um, so but there's ways. To and I was going to say, Sarah, of course, it is a very good time to be mindful of this because it is National Child Protection Week and today is White Balloon Day. Just tell us a little bit about that. Um, so White Balloon Day is the big day that um, we help to raise money for Brave Hearts um, because Brave Hearts does so much with kids. Um, they have so much that they can help kids. Um, and I wish Brave Hearts had been around when I was a kid uh, because even if you're not being believed at home, um, as I wasn't, there's somewhere else that you can go and you can tell brave hearts and somebody will listen to you. Um, and White Balloon Day is awesome. Um, they have events all over the country, so hopefully everyone is getting out to an event um, that uh, Sarah, Brave Hearts has, like Ditto, hands? who goes out to schools. What's written on oh, your hands there? Okay. Okay, there all kids. That's for the, um, who, are the who Are You Protecting campaign. Yeah. Okay, all kids. So, um, all kids. So my initiative. other selfie has my niece and nephew because um, they're who I'm protecting. But uh, I'm trying to help all kids in mm. Australia and in the US and everywhere. Sarah Monaghan, you are just mm. a fabulous woman, so brave. We've loved talking to you. Yeah. What an incredible role model you are. And um, what a wonderful organisation you're backing. Mm. Um, White Sorry. Balloon Day, the details are on your screen now, White Balloon Day dot.com.au. Uh, make sure you contribute any way you can. Thank you very much, Sarah. We appreciate it.